In this video, we'll be looking at a fun little project, a sideline, if you wish, from the Harden BSD developers, uh, who wanted to bring Harden BSD with a ready-to-run, out-of-the-box desktop. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Right, so we're booting up the usual test machine and this particular version of Harden BSD. Oh, there's the traditional boot menu. Looks all uh, familiar so far. This particular version of Harden BSD is an unofficial spin uh, by one of the developers and it comes with a pre-configured desktop and it should start up in a very similar manner to Ghost BSD. It's a volatile live session OS uh, and that means it doesn't save any information like Nomad BSD to the actual install uh, media but it allows you like Ghost BSD to use it as a live DVD and test the capabilities of the OS and the machine itself. So we're booting up traditionally as we normally would with Harden BSD so we'll just do a little advert and fast forward first. You can view our videos not only on YouTube but also on Odyssey too. See the link in the description box down below. Right, that should be... Yep, we're booting into the desktop and here it is. A live session version of Harden BSD, which is pretty cool. It's got everything that you would want in a live session. Uh, there's your power options. And, hmm, let's have a look around here. The menu is uh, very nice and comprehensive. You've got places and pre-configured Firefox. There's your internet connection. Power option, so we're on the computer, so it's powered. Notifications and volume, as well as date and the uh, yeah the logging out options that we've seen before. Right, so you've got your various folders, and this is just the uh, the USB stick that's plugged in. Trash file system home, and you install Harden BSD at the bottom, which we'll have a look at later. Yeah, it's very nice so far. So we've got the, the application menu. We've got quite a few uh, things already here. Uh, we'll have a look at XFCE and it's 4.16. Okay, that's great. Using Harden BSD special FreeBSD kernel 13.1. Use a custom kernel, it's uh, more secure. Right, so we've got mail reader, web browser, you've got settings with their various uh, options that you'll find in XFCE. Accessories, development, you've got graphics, uh, internet, multimedia, oh wait a minute, let's have a look at that, uh, yeah, well, that's interesting, it's got a GUI to um, configure Wi-Fi, very nice, multimedia, uh, which got yeah, only two options, that's not too bad, office, good to see that they've included a word processor, take note, Ghost BSD. Uh, other, which is uh, another Wi-Fi configuration, which is good. System, we have Octo PKG encode, okay. And yeah, we've seen them. So, having a look at uh, the word process, it's not, it's a big thing for me, because if you can have a live session disk, you should have somewhere to get work done. So, that's a good touch. Right, so uh, the right clicking on the desktop gives you usual shortcuts. And for wallpaper, there's, there's really just one, but it's really not a big deal. The developer did say that this is, he did this for fun, so uh, if there are any short, shortcomings in this, then we're not hold it against him. So yes, it's um, very nice so far. Alright, so we'll have a look at... I'm trying to configure the desktop, because the graphics are a little bit too big. Settings and display. Well, yeah. I think that's mainly because we haven't included the... Uh, we haven't installed <coughs> the NVIDIA driver, so it's a little bit skew if at the moment. We'll just leave it at that. There's your Octo PKG. If you want to install your uh, applications via a graphical user interface, as they say. And we won't be doing that. We'll be using the old-fashioned way, I think. So I'll just close that down. So, going up in the terminal. And there we go. And as, as you enter root. There's no password needed because it's a demo session. So we're going to search for Linus. We're going to going to do some testing. And yeah, oh, latest version, 3.0.7. Uh, 
So we're just going to install that the usual way. I know there's plenty more tests you can do with hardened BSD to, to uh, garner its um, efficiency as a secure OS, but, but Linus is probably the easiest one to have a, a quick look. And, whoa, 69. Now that is actually on par with what I received when I did OpenBSD test. So it's as secure as OpenBSD, and it now comes with a GUI, although unofficially, of course. Right, and there's uh, the memory usage. It's really not a, a, a true indicator because obviously it's loaded into RAM, so <laughs> memory is going to be quite large. Just close that. Right. Okay. We're going to try the installation. I don't know if this will work 100%, but we'll have a look. Um, click on that. A warning, this will erase. Yeah, okay, we'll go down. Click continue. And just enter the details. It's nice and clean, this uh, install. It's really nice. And it's also detected the actual computer type at the bottom, which is a, a nice touch. I like that. Enable users to log in over network. And at the bottom, we've got set time zone. Have a look at that. Oh, this will send a request to ipapi.com. Okay. I like it. It lets you know, just in case. Does that actually security touch? I'm not going to. I'm not going to do both of them, so we'll just click. Continue, and we'll see what happens. Well, it seems to have stopped, so we'll have a look at the log. Ah, there you go. We've got two errors. So if the devs want to have a look at that, uh, they can try and fix it. I have no idea. So there you go. Uh, I don't think the install worked, which is it's no big deal, because it's a live session. And they, like I said, the, the devs said they did this for fun, so... You know, and we'll lock out. Ooh, I pressed the wrong one. Never mind. Right, and this is only a quick look. I mean, obviously, I haven't gone into too much details on this, but I saw this, and he said that the devs have done it just for fun, which I think is something that they could really run with. This is a great idea. You could test the the usability of uh, a FreeBSD OS, like you can with GhostBSD, but with the security of OpenBSD. And I know they've done it for fun, but really the main developers of uh, Harden BSD might want to look into perhaps having this as a, an official side project. It wouldn't hurt, and it would get more exposure to your, uh, your main OS. Yeah, it's very good indeed. I'll leave the usual links in the description box down below, and let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.